Hello and welcome to DC Comic Sticks with me, James Sticks. This week I'll be giving you the best highlights of comics from last month. Let's start off this with Batman Eternal. Last month I gave you a review of issue 18. Since then we've had three more issues out this month, which has been great. We saw the end of Batgirl's mission to clear her father's name in Brazil, but when things were back in Gotham, things weren't always what they seemed. Issue 22 will be a great place to jump on if you haven't been reading the series already as issue 21 tied up most of those loose ends and issue 20 teased the reveal of Spoiler back in costume. Stephanie Brown fans are very happy about this. With issue 34 of Batman and Robin we continue the Robin Rises saga. This issue ties up the issues that were underlying from the Return of the Joker's uh, storyline um, Red Hood, Red Robin and Batgirl finally forgive Batman and all is well. They're ready to help her in any way possible. If you're excited from the last part about a teaser between a fight between the Bat family and the Justice League, sadly you're going to be a little bit disappointed here. But all's well, it ends well. We've got a nice couple of end of the last seven pages. We also have a teaser that this will tie into the Future's End storyline as well. Teen Titans issues 2 prove that the writers really know who their target audience are. It is as much a character piece as it is a setup for the future storyline. We have some great little moments with Wonder Girl, and we also see Beast Boy feature as Krabby Cat, aka Grumpy Cat, for the real world. For us at EQV, what's great to see is Bunker is a character who's really standing up for gay rights, and that's really nice to read in a comic book aimed for the younger demographic. The Multiversity Issue 1 is a comic by Grant Morrison that really spans all of DC Universe, crossing all of the other Earths, not just Earth Zero, which is our Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, but from issue, uh, Earth 32 to Earth 7 and 8. This is a big, expensive book, but what's great is when we have characters like a black Superman from Earth 23 who's actually the President of the United States of America. With so many references to other heroes and fourth wall, old comic book fans will rejoice and find this a great read, but it might not be suitable for new readers. And finally, Grayson Issue 2. I posted a review of Grayson Issue 1 last month, which was a lot more action-packed and interesting because it was a first issue, but that's what you expect. In this, we still got the gorgeous art, Grayson takes his top off, what more could you ask for? So that's what I picked up this month. Tune in next week for more from DC Comic Sticks. If you liked the video, click the thumbs up. Remember to comment and tweet me if you want a certain DC Comics book title reviewed next time. Thanks for watching. See you next time.